Hi, my name is Ariel, and today I'm going to be filming my first Inside the Dressing Room, and I thought, where better to start than at Torrid? And so before I go in, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about me so that you might be able to compare um, how the clothes would look on your body um, as opposed to mine. I am 5'1 or 5'2 on a good day, and I am generally a hourglass shape. I'm an 18 or 20 on top and a pretty solid 20 on bottom. In torrid sizing, usually a one or two on top and a two on bottom. I also am gonna put my measurements in the description box below and so you can check there for that. At the end of this video, I will do sort of like a get to know you section uh, since this is my first video and um, I wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about myself and what type of content I plan on putting on this channel. So I hope you stick around for that, but let's get inside. All right, so here's a quick look at everything I got to try on. I tried to get a variety of stuff, but I did get quite a few dresses, a couple pairs of jeans, some t-shirts, and a few coats and jackets to try on. Quick look at my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a shirt from Torrid. The leggings are from JCPenney. Those shoes are from Payless. The sweater is actually from Walmart, and that scarf is from New York & Company a bunch of years ago. All right, first up is this ivory and floral dress. It's a really soft material. I think it's pronounced chalice or shelly or chally. Anyways, the dress it hits just below the knee on me, and I'm 5'1 or 5'2. Um, here it is from the side. The sleeves were a tad bit long on me, but that tends to be an issue because I'm so short. And it was actually really stretchy in the waist, so I think that I might have even been able to fit into a size 1. Next up is this pink lace trench style jacket. I tried it on in a size 2. It was $109, which I think is ridiculous for what it is. It's not like a warm jacket or anything, but it is really cute. It's sort of a pinky mauve color and I was able to button it because it stretches. There's actually some stretch in the material and the lace seems to give a little bit. So although it doesn't look like it would be stretchy, there is some stretch, but I just wasn't really a fan of the length on me. I am a little short and I just don't think it was very flattering. It made my um, top half of my body look shorter than it already is. The next thing I tried on was this gray heavy coat. It was really heavy, really soft. I could tell that it would actually keep me warm. It was a size two as well. And I did like the length of this one. If I was wearing a knee length dress, it would cover it. It hit me uh, probably three inches below my knees. There were pockets, they were sewn shut, but there was some stretch in the material and it buttoned comfortably. It was a little snug, but not anything where I felt like I couldn't move my arms or anything like that. And I think a three would probably be too loose in the top. Next I tried on a pair of their slim boot cut jeans. I tried these on in a 20 short and I paired it with this It's Fall Y'all t-shirt which I tried on in a 1. The price on the t-shirt was 29 bucks, and I could not find the price on the jeans. The t-shirt was a pretty good fit. It was a little snug, um, a little bit closer fit than I normally wear t-shirts, but it was it fit well. 
and it was soft. It was the same quality as most of Torrid's t-shirts. I'm sure we've all had them before. The jeans fit okay, but I always have a problem with a gap um, over my butt in Torrid's jeans. I'm not sure what that is. And they were just a smidge too long. I'd probably have to get them hemmed a, a half an inch or an inch. So I usually get the extra short length when I'm able to. Next, I paired it with this pumpkin spice latte t-shirt. This one was in a size two, so as you can see, there's a little more room. It's up in the back, but I could probably pull it down and be able to wear it with leggings if I wanted to. I'm gonna add this black jacket to the outfit. I thought it was really cute, varsity style jacket. I wore, got this in a size two and it was $65. The jacket was a good fit. It was a little tighter probably than I'd want it to be, but I also would not want to go up a size to a three and have it be baggy I because I wanted it to stay uh, close to the body. So I thought it was cute. It is very stretchy. So the band is extremely stretchy and it can stretch fully around me, but it's a little short. Next, I'm going to try on the famous Torrid jegging. I got these in a size 20 short in a dark wash and I'm going to pair it with this super soft material shirt that is black with a floral pattern that was in a size 2. So I'm showing you that the shirt is a little large. It, the sleeves are long on me. There's a lot of room in the chest area and at the waist so I could probably go down to a size 1 and have it still fit just fine. The jeggings have three buttons at the top, and there's still some gapping over the butt for me. It's not as bad as in the first pair of jeans, but there's still definitely some gapping. I love this style of shirt from Torrid because you can easily wear it with leggings. It is so long because I'm so short and goes down to almost goes down almost to my knees. I'm just showing you the back of the jeans there. They do bunch a teeny bit at the ankles, but I think they're about the right length. You'll have to forgive my dorky dancing here. The music was turned up in the dressing room and I got a little excited. All right, next I'm gonna try on this sort of crushed velour pink tank top. I got it in a size one because I could tell there was some stretch and I think the one was the right size. It fit well across the chest and there was plenty of room in the waist and it skimmed over my hips. I thought this tank top was really cute. I don't know if I'd be willing to pay the price they asked for it but it's a really cute tank that I would probably put under a blazer or a jacket of some kind. I'm going to pair it with this gray sweater in the video. It's in a size 2, but I don't think I would ever actually wear these together in real life. So here's the sweater on. It is really soft. The sweater was so soft and cozy. I would actually want it to be a little larger, even though the, the sleeves are already a bit too long in this size. So I think I would probably size up to a 3 if I were to purchase this sweater. It does uh, cover my butt. It goes just below the butt so you could wear it with leggings if you wanted to But since it's supposed to be a cozy and chunky sweater, I would probably size up Next is this navy floral kimono it I got it in a size 1-2 and As you can see it is really long. It's a full-length duster style kimono Here it is on again. I probably wouldn't wear it with this tank top, but as you can see, it is very long. In the back, it almost brushes the ground, but it's really the perfect length for someone my height. And as a reminder, I am about 5'1 or 5'2. And so this just hit just where I'd like it to if I was looking for a big dramatic effect. There is no stretch in the material. It's like a chiffon material, but there's plenty of room in the arms for me. Next up is this beaded sweatshirt that I got in a size 2. It has uh, short sleeves and a band at the bottom. 
here it is on I actually wasn't really a fan of this I don't think it's very flattering on my body to have a band at the bottom and while I don't care if everything is flattering it's just not comfortable it sort of stretches across the hips it fits and it doesn't roll up but it just would not be as comfortable if the as if the band was not there so I'm just giving you another look at the back of those jeggings but overall it's a cute shirt I do like the statement neckline but it's probably not something I would buy next up is this black and floral dress it sort of has a high neckline and it looks like it's going to be about knee length. I thought this dress was really cute, but it was sort of ill-fitting. I got it in a two, and as you can see, there's a lot of extra room up at the top. I had just tucked my bra straps in so I could sort of see what it would look like if it were on with the correct undergarments but it was a little too big at top so I think I could probably size down to a one and still have enough room in the hips it was a very stretchy material it sort of felt like a scuba material and it was really stretchy so a one I think would definitely fit me better up top and just skim right over my hips and the last item is another floral dress, shocker. Tord's sort of famous for those. This is in a size two and it was 65 bucks. This dress was so soft. I can't even begin to talk about how soft this dress was. It fit pretty well. The sleeves had enough room and it hit me just below the knee. It was a little loose in the waist though. I would like it to be a little more fitted and because I'm on a fitness journey and just getting healthier, I think it might become a little too loose. Here I'm trying to show you that the buttons are fully functional, so you could unbutton this if you wanted to and sort of customize it to how you want to wear it. All right, so before I get to the get to know you section, um, I'm going to address the elephant in the room and that is that I ended up buying stuff. I went in there with no intention of buying anything, and that always seems to happen to me at Torrid, but if any of you are YouTubers, maybe you could like comment how you deal with this, but I felt guilty. I took all this stuff into the dressing room, and the ladies at Torrid are always so nice and understanding and offering to carry stuff for you to the room or start a dressing room for you and get you other sizes, all this stuff. And when I was done and they asked like how everything went and what did I find, I felt guilty not getting anything um, because I'd been in there for so long filming. So I ended up buying some stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of it or if I'm gonna keep any of it, I really should return it all. But I will go through what I picked up and maybe you guys can help me decide what to keep and what I should just let go. All right, so. First things first, I got this super cute It's Fall Y'all shirt. You guys saw this in the try-on. Um, I tried it on in a size one. It's a little bit more form-fitting, and so I thought it would be cute for tucking into skirts. I really like tucking graphic tees into skirts and wearing like a cute little cardigan or something like that. I'll talk about this in the get to know you portion, but I'm from uh, Kansas City and I went to school at Oklahoma State and while I was there I sort of picked up a y'all every once in a while and so I thought this was super cute and perfect for fall. I love this army military green color and it's just perfect. All right next up is this pumpkin spice latte shirt. I thought this was so cute. Um, but I kind of feel like a fraud wearing it or getting it because I don't even like pumpkin spice lattes. Like, I love pumpkin spice. I like spice cake. I like pumpkin cookies. I like, you know, cranberry and pumpkin flavored scones. And I love coffee and espresso, but I don't like pumpkin spice lattes, like, at all. So I feel a little like a fake wearing this but it's really cute so i might end up keeping it anyway and just wear it and wear it proudly so we'll have to see all 
All right, next up is this really long navy floral kimono. Um, if you remember in the try on, this was like the perfect length for me. So I am 5'1 or 5'2 and this like just barely skimmed the floor in the back, like maybe um, a half an inch or an inch above the ground. So it's sort of the perfect length for like a big dramatic effect. So I might end up keeping this one too, but it's just so cute. Um, and I don't have anything like it, so we'll see. All right, and the last thing I picked up was this white and floral dress. I'm still not totally positive if this really gives me like the most fall vibes, but I think with leggings or tights and some boots and maybe like a cardigan or a belt around the waist or something like that, it could be really cute. Um, it is so soft, like you can't even imagine how good this material feels. And it has a lining. There's this like additional white um, spandexy lining on the inside that's really soft and it keeps it from being too sheer. Like you can see a little bit through it, but not too bad. And so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. I might return it and exchange it for um, a size one. This is a two. And I just found it to be a little loose in the waist and I had enough room um, in the hips to where I think I could go down to a one and have it fit um, and still fit if I lost a little bit of weight. All right, so in total, I ended up spending 140 on those four items, which is a lot for four things. Um, uh, the only deal that I had, I didn't, I didn't bring coupons with me. I didn't go in there prepare. I didn't bring the 30% off of your total purchase email that I got. I didn't think about pulling that up because I was going in there to not buy anything, but naturally that's not what happened. So they had the buy one, get one 50% off of regular price items like they always do in store. And that's what I ended up getting. Um, the pumpkin spice shirt was $25.21 after the discount. The olive, it's fall y'all shirt was $22.14. The um, button front dress was $50.03. And the uh, full length kimono was $42.32. So that's definitely more than I normally pay when I shop at Torrid. I'm almost always shopping in the clearance or when they have like a really good sale or hot cash, um, hot cash, whatever during that time. But I felt guilty. And so I went in there and bought items close to full price. I mean, not totally full price. There's a good, some good discounts, but not, not anything spectacular. It, it ends up being like 25% off your whole order essentially. So I'll have to decide what I'm gonna keep and what I might exchange. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should keep. All right, so now I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about myself and about my channel. My name is Ariel, as you can probably tell from the channel name, and I am currently 27 years old. I am married, my husband and I um, got married in October of 2016, so we just celebrated our two year anniversary. I'm from Kansas City originally, and I grew up on the Kansas side in a suburb. I have one sister who has kids, and they are amazing, so I have nieces and nephews. Um, I went away to college at Oklahoma State University. That's in Stillwater, Oklahoma, which is a really small town, but I met my very best friends there and had such a good time. Go Pokes for any of you that uh, know about the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Um, after college, I moved back to Kansas City and started working. And after a couple of years, I decided that I wanted to go back to school and pursue a PhD in marketing to become a professor and to do academic research. 
So I applied to schools all over the country and was accepted to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. So my husband and I moved out here in 2015 and we've been here ever since. I've been working at the PhD, um, working through the PhD program and I achieved ABD status, which is all but dissertation status. And then recently I actually decided I wanted a total career change. So I'm in the process of doing that. I still teach uh, marketing research to undergrads, but I'm in the process of sort of deciding what I wanna do with my career. I don't think I'm cut out for academic research. It's just not where my interests lie anymore. And so I'm going through that process. And that sort of leads me to why I started this channel. I started an Instagram about a month ago, so it's young. It's a baby, a baby Instagram. Uh, it's titled the same thing as this channel, Ariel in Real Life. So you guys can go find me there. Um, it's linked to my YouTube, and then I also will put it in the description box below, so you can always find it there. And maybe I'll figure out how to flash it on the screen right now. We'll see. I don't know how to do anything yet, so that might be biting off more than I can chew. But I decided to start this channel because. I finally have time to like pursue the things I love. So I have always loved fashion um, and I am plus size. So it sort of just makes sense that I love plus size fashion and sharing body positivity and confidence and making women feel good in their skin as they are right now. You know, I am a firm believer that you are beautiful at whatever size you are. Beauty has nothing to do with weight. And I am, you know, on a health journey myself, trying to get healthy, trying to feel better mentally and physically. And so um, I'm all about getting healthy and loving the body you're in. And so I wanted to create a space where I could share my passions with other women and hopefully connect with people and you know have a creative outlet for all these things that I love to do and maybe it'll somehow tie into whatever career I de decide to do in the future you know so if I look over here at the computer it's not because I'm like checking messages or something I just wrote down stuff I wanted to make sure I touched on so I'm trying, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm new at this and I just want to make sure I cover everything. So what I'll be posting on this channel, um, I love inside the dressing room videos. So I plan on doing a lot of those. Hopefully they get better and better as I get more practice and eventually probably hauls. I want to do vlogs, you know, just taking you around with me during the day. I know some people don't like vlogs, some people love them. Um, I've always really enjoyed them. Just seeing other people's lives, it's sort of like you get to, you know, chat with a friend, things like that. So I might also do get ready with me's at some point, and maybe even sit down chats about body positivity or self-confidence, um, my journey to self-confidence and my journey to self-love my health journey, all of those things, I think I would enjoy sharing with other people out there. So I think those are things you guys can expect from this channel. In the future, I will do a longer get to know me tag type video, but I really just wanted to introduce myself and let you guys get a little bit of a look into my life and where I'm at right now. And so I hope you guys stick around. I hope you join the Pretty Squad family. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, and don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I post daily over there, uh, outfit of the day, things I've been wearing, about things I like. So go find me over there at Ariel in Real Life. And okay, bye for real this time.